Turns out fidgeting might actually help the ADHD brain focus. In world first research, Auckland University uses an MRI to map the brain activity of people with ADHD while they were fidgeting. They found their focus improved. The opposite was observed in people without ADHD. Justin Fernandez is Professor of Biomedical Engineering at the Auckland University and joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here. Pleasure. So what exactly does this mean? What does this tell us? Well, the interesting thing is that uh, human motion often presents underlying conditions. And the fact that uh, people with ADHD presented different responses in an MRI, it can potentially be used as a, a clinical diagnosis tool to aid clinicians in that process. Because at the moment, how, do, how are you di diagnosed with ADHD? Well, typically you'd see a psychiatrist or a psychologist and they take you through a series of tests. Some of those are very uh, subjective, but measurements like we've been finding are a little bit more objective and would help to speed up that process. Because you're actually measuring brain activity. Yeah, we're actually seeing how the brain responds, the activation while you do a concentration task and then while you do it when you fidget. Did you look at anyone who thought they had ADHD who you're given what you know about the brain activity actually may not? That's interesting because um, initially we were just going on people's diagnosis, but just before the test we also get them to do another little psychology test. So it revealed to us some people that had been previously diagnosed with ADHD but had remitted, and those people who were supposedly neurotypical that may actually have underlying ADHD that hadn't been diagnosed. Ah, so what's the theory? If I have ADHD, then I will be better at multitasking? No. Other way around? Generally what we find is that when people who have ADHD uh, focus on a task, they tend to have underactivation in that region, the frontal region of the brain, which is associated with executive functioning and people who are neurotypical have normalized levels of activation. And what we found was that the fidgeting is actually trying to increase or normalize the activation for people with ADHD. Ah, that, that's almost counterintuitive because you think it, the more you're doing, the less you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you well, know what I mean? But yeah. that, is that almost like trying to supercharge that part of their brain? It appears that the fidgeting, which is controlling the motor skill region of the brain, is actually being assistive to that frontal lobes in the brain, something that people had not previously seen. Right, so when the teachers used to say, stop fidgeting, actually you could have been trying to help yourself and them. <laughs> exactly, so that's what we're hoping. This research actually gives people a different view of fidgeting in society, in schools, and public transport that we normally find that very annoying. Actually, they're probably using it to cope with concentration. Ah, and improve concentration. Yes. Can, it, can it help or improve? I mean, obviously, you know, if, if you don't have ADHD, but you just want to improve your concentration or you're studying for something, can it help to fidget? Or is it actually, are you finding a distraction for those who don't have it. So that's the interesting thing. We found a lot of people who present more as neurotypical actually found it very distracting. And that's why it's probably a very good marker to differentiate those who are more on the ADHD and neurotypical ends of the spectrum. Wow. What are you going to do about the teachers? Because they hate a fidgeter. <laughs> but actually, do we need to say a little bit of fidgeting here and there may, may actually not be a bad thing? One of the amazing stories that we, I heard when I was down in Gisborne where we did this study is that a lot of uh, school teachers and their kids participated and they actually came up and thanked us at the end because they say, you know, we've always been looking for research which kind of explains what we saw and, you know, this is, you know, research that would hope to help inform the way teachers look at fidgeting in high school and primary school. It's crazy, isn't it? How else does the, you know, like, do, do we have any other things, we as humans, that we do that can focus the mind or increase our, our mental attention? Well, I think, um, I mean, a lot of people associate that with things like you know, drinking more caffeine, um, uh, also, you know, um, you know uh, things like even exercise, funny enough, actually helps to stimulate the dopamine levels and gives you better concentration. And so we're finding that uh, fidgeting, which is actually quite diverse for people, so we actually ask people to tap their feet, but people have all various forms of fidgeting. Some people you know, twirl their hair or fidget their mouth and things like that. So it actually, that's what we're looking at next. We're trying to work out ways that we can encompass this variety of fidgeting techniques inside an MRI while not disturbing the signal that we measure, because traditionally in an MRI you have to stay still. Ah, well that makes your life difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> but also challenging. <laughs> Mine's um, clicking the pen. Yep. I'm always getting in trouble for that. Not that I've got ADHD, I don't think I do, but um, I'm constantly clicking a pen. So I'm sure there are a thousand different ways you can be distracted. Exactly. Yep.